Hey everybody, I'm just here uh, at the West Edmonton location. My name is Trevor and I'm one of the trainers here. Um, tonight we're gonna be doing a lot of core and lower body exercises. Uh, we got a really good one planned for you tonight. Uh, what I really wanted to come talk to you guys about is probably one of the exercises you're gonna see at any given point in time uh, within boot camp or at any time is a squat. And it's also one of the very difficult exercises to probably do consistently and to learn. But once you do learn it correctly and once you do get that form correct, uh, you can eliminate back pain, you can eliminate knee pain. Um, you're just all around, you're gonna uh, let your knees and hips and joints last just a little bit longer. Because uh, whether you like it or not, you're probably squatting more often uh, or doing some sort of lunge, uh, really working that lower body. So to start off with tonight, and some things that you guys can really focus on tonight is uh, the setup for a squat is probably one of the more important things you can do. Uh, right off the bat, you want your feet to start off with, in general for a basic squat, no more, no more than maybe shoulder width apart. If you, uh, if you have some difficulties uh, with knees and joints, you want a little more flexibility, you can always go a little wider with your feet. But the more important thing that you want to remember is, and I don't know if you can really see me here, is that your knees will always track in the direction in which your toes are pointed. So if I point my toes out, my knees will actually go out towards my toes. But for a conventional squat, for usually every single day, we're not usually very wide stance. We're usually very narrow stance like this. Um, so this is how most people will set up conventionally for a given squat. Um, so tonight when you're in boot camp, one of the first thing you guys can, lay, uh, can learn and can do is to set up properly and get your feet at least shoulder width apart. Um, now the first thing you guys want to do when you guys get to this point is just remember, uh, and you can see me right now, is that you don't want to stay very rigid and, and straight within your back here guys. You want a little hip flexibility. You want your knees just slightly bent to start with and not locked out and pushed back. What I really want to focus on and what we as trainers look for right away is do you break with your hips or do you break with your back? So let me explain that a little further. If I break with my knees, it's usually the first thing that's going to bend. So usually you're going to shoot forward. It's usually more confident and comfortable that everyone wants to do. Okay, but if you break with your hips, you're usually bending at your hips first, in which case you're usually leaning back uh, into this position. And sometimes balance can throw us off and that's why conventionally we actually want to stand up more right and try and squat like this. But for the boot camp tonight, I want you guys to do, uh, do me a little favor. I want you to take your feet and right away, I want you to actually curl your toes underneath your foot just a little bit. What it's gonna do is move your center of balance. And what you actually can't do anymore is try to bend with your knees to get any further. You actually have to now move your hips and get your hips in line. Now as a trainer, I always look to make sure my shoulders are in line again with my knees. Uh, my knees aren't gonna go over top of my toes. So as I bend my hip and lean forward, I'm actually gonna bend my knees at the same time and end up down into a comfortable position, which of course is unique to everyone, depending on your flexibility and your range of motion. So right away guys, make sure you guys tighten up your core, just like we talked about yesterday, you're really bracing that spine, maintaining a neutral spine, nice curvature to your back. You wanna actually push your hips back as if you're shooting for a chair, or uh, pretend to maybe a toilet seat for a good example to kind of analogy to look for. Something that's a little bit further behind you that you're actually really trying to reach with your butt and get down. If you're, if you're trying to stay rigid and flat and just go straight down, most people are going to bend with their knees right away. So just think of something being substantially behind you, a chair or a bench, something you're going to shoot for with your hips. And as you push your hip back, okay, you're going to bend your knees at the same time, come down comfortably, okay, to a happy range of motion. And once you're there, you're going to push off your heels Okay, and try and come straight back up. Okay, just some little tips for you guys tonight, but I want you guys to focus on when you guys come to boot camp. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, concerns, please let me know. Please let Diane or Lindsay and myself know. Um, we, we here have a lot of different advice and tips that we can give you guys. Um, just to let you guys know again, if you guys are wanting a little bit more information, a little bit more detail and uh, some techniques and exercises, you guys can check out our event on the uh, web page and the fan page uh, coming this Saturday on July 8th. I'll be hosting about a half hour to 60 minute uh, presentation that will outline specific exercises commonly used in boot camp and uh, we'll be going through them as a team and as a group to really demonstrate um, proper technique, things to look for, things to work uh, on, uh, things that we can use to kind of improve our flexibility, our posture and our range of motion, uh, not only in boot camp but every single day that we uh, you know, go out in the world and, and uh, be
be active and, and do our lives and do the things that we do. So uh, if, if you guys want anything else, um, you guys can also check out our two weeks free. Um, you guys are more than welcome to come down, try two weeks of free boot camp, see if it's right for you, see if there's some things that you guys can take away with. If, if you don't take anything away other than maybe some education, guys, it won't be a waste of your time. Um, come down, check us out, and uh, keep fit, and uh, stay healthy, guys. Thank you.